All right, guys, so I charged my Tesla Cybertruck non-foundation series to 100% or 99% right now. So it gets to 324 miles, which is accurate with the 325 miles of range you get at 100%. So overall, pretty impressed with the overall drive right now. This car only has about 100 miles of uh, driving, so it's still battery still extremely fresh and yeah, it hasn't really degraded at all, but we are getting that true range. The non-foundation Cybertruck gets 325. The foundation series gets 340, so 15 more miles. But I don't really think you'll notice it, to be quite frank with you. So, And this car is a lot cheaper than the non-foundation, than the foundation series. So I kind of enjoyed that as well. So right now I'm charging in the Tesla Supercharger. Let me go outside for you. See the Cybertruck. As you go outside, you'll kind of notice that the car needs to back up extremely close to the um to the charger itself and i kind of have to kind of like really yank it so you need to be pretty pretty aware but yeah uh, as you back up the car make sure you don't hit the other uh superchargers so i backed it up fully and you get this kind of green charge you can unplug it and think about this charge port it goes really slow I mean, it's kind of cool, slow motion, but overall, I have been just getting about, say, 70 to 110 miles, um, sorry, kilowatts, hours. I know it's on my charge, maybe because my battery isn't warm, but look, I charged to 100%, and we have 325 miles of range, 100% stay of charge, so we're actually getting at full 325, which is nice. The one thing I've kind of realized and noticed about charging your tesla was that um you actually get a full like the full battery um as opposed to like earlier teslas you wouldn't get the full range right so actually i'll probably get 90 95 percent of this which is kind of interesting so 90 percent of a of 325 is so it's 0.90 times three two five you get about 292 miles of range that's if you go to zero but i see like around 95 so let's just do that again 0. 0.95 times 325 and you get about 308 miles of range um 309 which is pretty cool that's if you drive the battery down to zero and i've done so many like road trips on the cyber tr or in general with teslas i never really drive down to zero i get to 20 percent and i take a break because it's like it's hard driving so much and then not taking a break. So you're actually in the full 100%, 325 miles of range, brand new vehicle, which is pretty nice. I'm enjoying it actually. The battery is pretty cool. And I've noticed whenever you charge things within your Tesla, the Model S, Model X, whenever I would plug in my laptop to USB-C, I wouldn't get like a real charge with it. But now that I have the Cybertruck, it's actually able to charge my laptop down here, which is really nice. And I can actually work from the, the truck, which I'm kind of enjoying. I just connect to a hotspot and, and just kind of work from here as well. So you do get the full 325 miles of range. Do I recommend having 325 miles of range um, as opposed to getting the all wheel tires? Yes, the all wheel tires look good. But these are the tires over here that actually give you the best range, which is, sorry, all season tires. But this is um, the Scorpion tires and Pirelli. They're only 20, uh, they're, they look huge, right? But they are 20 inch tires. So that's kind of cool. The hubcap is kind of ugly. I'm going to be real with y'all, but I do enjoy it. I like the range and the comfort because you're getting a larger battery, sorry, larger, uh, smaller wheels and actual charge and battery, you get much more comfort. I've driven the foundation series, very, 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 very bumpy. These uh, tires, not so bumpy at all. They do look a little funny, don't get me wrong, but you kind of get used to it. Like it kind of came with paint, just kind of lame, but whatever. Essentially, these tires are much more comfortable when you drive the car and you're able to get more range, which I do enjoy. The car is massive, right? So it still looks like proportional the wheels don't look like they're too small as and are in proportion to the car itself but these tires 20 inch rims pirelli scorpion um so you get more range and more comfort which i enjoy you're getting that full 325 miles of range as well as the comfort is there with this car it's super um spacious 
as well as you got battery life. So if you are road tripping a ton and you want a car that has a lot of range and very smooth suspension and it's very spacious, this is the car, right? 325 miles of range will get you to and from like Los Angeles um, pretty quickly. So say I'm going to travel to Los Angeles from here and here I'm like in the kind of like this Sacramento area. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the trip to say like, let's go to, let's go somewhere like um, Six Flags or where do you want? Let's go to UCLA. We want to go to UCLA. So how long would it take me to get UCLA from Sacramento? So UCLA, uh, full stay of charge. I'm at 325 miles of range. I'm going to University of California in Los Angeles. And this is just a sample trip showing you how good the battery is right now with a full state of charge of 325 miles of range. Do we need to charge twice? Do we need to charge once? Can we get there in one charge from here to Los Angeles? And for those of you curious, I'm a UCLA MBA, so I kind of just pick UCLA. Right now it's calculating and we have 325 miles of range, no battery degradation at all. I had them all S and I got to, um, basically got to UCLA, wow, with, one, with about one or two charges. And this battery is so efficient that we can go from about Sacramento, California, all the way to UCLA Anderson or UCLA Business, or UCLA Los Angeles in about, there you go, come and see. So we got to charge for 32 minutes and then just take a quick break. And we'll get to UCLA by four o'clock. This is with no traffic. That's pretty impressive that this 325 mile range battery can get us to Los Angeles. We take a little mini break at Kelman City. I usually like to rest for about 30 minutes too. So that's kind of nice. I get to use the restroom, get food, just hang out, relax a bit. And I'm impressed 325 miles of range will get me all the way to UCLA, Los Angeles. That's because these batteries now, these cars now are much more efficient than the 2021, 2022 versions of the car. Uh, I know it's the 2024, 2025 versions of the Cyber truck. You get much more efficiency and range, which is nice. Um, just test the cars in general. And this C3, 2020 miles back in the day, like, early 2020 versions you probably only get like 65 70 percent of the car battery range but this car you actually stop at and see at 21 percent so you're gonna get there at about what 325 so you're almost at like say 65 miles of range and then you charge for 32 minutes so you probably get to around 80 percent and then you get to ucla at about 10 percent, so around 32 miles of range and then you just gotta charge when you get to the to Los Angeles, right? Because you get to your location. So it's pretty good that you basically just gotta charge once on that road trip. You have to use autopilot, smooth suspension, really, really great efficiency with the battery. So 10 out of 10, man, this is pretty cool. Um, with regards to the efficiency on the new Cybertruck 325 miles range on the Nam Foundation series. All right, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. I do have a lot more content for you regarding the Tesla Cybertruck. If you look down below, the links below, I have all the referral links for a Tesla. If you want to get your Tesla, you still have one more day now to get your Cybertruck for $2,000 off or your Model S, X, and Y for, sorry, Model S, $2,000 off, X, $2,000 off, uh, Cybertruck, as well as Model S, $2,000 off, Model 3 and Model Y, I think for Model 3, you get $1,500 off. And then for Model Y, you get $1,000 off. You still have it one day to do that, which is pretty cool. Um, so if you just use my link down below. And also, you get free supercharging for three to four months, as well as free full self-driving for about three to four months. And you get to um, basically drive the car uh, for, for free when it comes to, uh, to charging, because you get it for a month. I also have links below for the Cybertruck, um, all the stuff I use for my Tesla Cybertruck, so all the accessories, as well as the accessories you use for the S3, X, and Y, which is pretty cool. I do enjoy that this car has such a large range, so I probably will stick with these wheels, right? And if you guys are curious, these are how the wheels kind of look like, right? 20 inch wheels, you have the hubcaps on for maximum efficiency. Um, as well as these smaller wheels, they're not as bumpy. So I really recommend these, right? If you're just using this as a normal daily driver, going to and from work, going to and from wherever you may be, go with the smaller wheels. You get a lot more efficiency, you get a lot more range, and you'll be more kind of, um, it's just a smoother ride, right? There's so many times I try and get a the bigger wheels because they look cool, and I like regret it after because it's like, yes, they look cool on the outside, but dang, I'm driving it is bumpy. But this has an air suspension, smaller wheels, and more efficient battery, 325 miles of range. Honestly, you'll probably get 300 miles of range with this car uh, driving. And then um, 
it's just a pleasure to just be in be driving it just because how smooth and chill and relaxed it is to drive it so the overall impressive battery on the 325 miles of range on tesla cybertruck get that full battery so shout out tesla you guys made a great product